Welcome to True IQ Global. This video is on how to manage your SmartShip in your back office. You will need to log into your back office. And this will bring you into your dashboard page. If you look at the quick links on the left hand side, you can click on Manage My Smart Ship. If you don't have a Smart Ship set up, this is what it will show. And at the end, I will show you how to change anything that you need to. I'm going to go ahead and click on Enroll Now. And I want it shipped to my home location or to my shipping address on my account. If I want it sent somewhere else, say I have a child that I want to send it to, I can go ahead and change the shipping location right here. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose my SmartShip. One of the best things to do with SmartShip is use it to keep you in an active status as a distributor, which means that you want to make sure that you have 100 PV on that. That will keep you active, plus it will replenish any of the supplies that you need. If you use it for your personal use, you can count on receiving that for your personal use. If you use it to help augment your business, you know that you will have some coming in. And if you need more, you can always go online and order more. I'm going to put in two hydrating body butters. And I'm going to choose um, eucalyptus, grapefruit, lemon, because I want to use it to clean, and peppermint. In my pure blends, I want to go ahead and hit and get the deep tranquility. And that should bring me to my 100 points. Scroll down to the bottom and click Next. This is going to set up your frequency. It will say that your last shipment was NA because you're setting it up. You've not had anything go out. At this point, you can go ahead and choose once a month. It defaults there. In the future, there will be other options that you should be able to use. And the start date. If I want this to go out tomorrow, I can select that. Or if I want it to go out next month, I can go to the next month and say I want it to go out on the 12th of each month. And then I click Next. This is just a reminder that if you change your smart ship in the future, that it could cause you to become inactive. Here's where we're going to check and make sure that this is going to the address that I want it to, and that if it is a gift, so if you're sending it to a different address, it will include a um, gift notification on it. Click Next. Your shipping method. If you choose Pickup in the Draper office, you can pick it up 24 hours after placing it in the Draper, at the Draper office. Or if you choose USPS, which is a preferred choice because it will just come automatically to you, go ahead and select that. Click Next. And you're going to go ahead and assign a payment. At this point, I want my pay hub or my wallet to go ahead and take whatever balance I have and pay for that and then set up a default payment method. I already have a credit card number on my credit on my account, so it's giving me that as a default. You can also add up add in another payment method in case both of those are unavailable. I'm going to go ahead and choose my True Wallet to ensure that it takes it from there first and then the remainder be billed to my credit card. Click Next and this is where you will review your Smart Ship and be able to make any changes. My next shipping date, I'm scheduled to have it shipped once a month. My shipping address, my payment information, and my payment method on my account and a backup. 
Then it has my items, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm getting at least 100 PV, and I am on that one. And at this point, if you want to change anything, you can go down here and click on this, and you'll be able to add or delete items. Your smart ship is now set up. If you have any problems or concerns about it, please feel free to contact us at support at trueiqglobal.com.